I'm pretty deep rooted here. I got a lot of family in Spokane. That's where I grew up. I do love traveling and seeing the world, but you know, I always end up back here. My house is in the middle of a alfalfa field where I grew up. We had chores and we had to work hard. My dad installed a work ethic in us that we had to have, and a lot of those things transfer over to this sport. I grew up in my wrestling room. It didn't go as I wanted it to. I always thought if I could fight, then I would be better, which in the wrestling community is a pretty like punk thing to say, but I was like, okay, now I have my chance to show it. I was 19 when I had my first fight. I just had to get in there for the first time and see what it was like. And there came a point where I just, I just had to go for it or I, I felt I would regret not knowing how far I could take it. Sam. Sam was a couple of years ahead of me in high school. I remember hearing his name at wrestling tournaments. And then when I got an MMA uh, in 2008, I ended up at the same gym that he started at. Me and Mike kind of built a, a brotherhood through the sport. I had somebody to hold me accountable for everything and a, and a reliable training partner. It's one of those lifelong things. You know, when you train with somebody every day, you built a strong camaraderie. We've been there for each other through the highest highs and the lowest lows of our lives. I wouldn't have a person like Sam in my life if it wasn't for MMA. Sam Cecilia has some serious power in his hands. Real dynamite. I've always had knockout power. It's something I don't really count on, but I know it's there. Throws caution to the wind and just slings leather. I like being in the fight. You know, I don't like to jump around jabbing each other and stuff. Sam Cecilia with the TKO here tonight. I guess when you get your mitts on someone, it really doesn't take long. Oh, we call that Richter scale ground and pound at my camp. This has all been a learning process for me. You know, it's a tough road, but I feel like I've got a grasp on it, and now I can just go compete, and that's what I want to do. I just got to stay focused. And you got to make your run, and I got to put it together now. And that just has to happen. That's just tunnel vision. Oh.